Hey, what's up, everybody? So I just wanted to make another quick video, um, and you know, no introduction for this one. I'm sure some of you people heard what happened. The unfortunate situation that happened is six nine. Um, Tenkashi. Um, I'm hope I'm saying this right. And um, um, you know, it's just a lot of controversy going on in the um, in the music industry, entertainment industry. And you know, for the for the life that um, a lot of these people claim and celebrate that is so great, we see a lot of dangers. We see a lot of people losing their life. We see a lot of people um, getting caught up into you know alcoholism, um, different types of drugs, overdosing, dying, getting shot, getting killed. I don't know if you guys seen recent video I was led to make about um, XXX. Um, J. Cole and now um, Takashi um, one of the reasons why I'm, um, I'm making this video because you know this is some things that we uh, talk about as grown men um, to each other and the things that we've seen and the things of the world and what we see here is an unfortunate situation young man gets kidnapped robbed robbed for his jewelry and his chains almost loses his life um, feel like he's been set up and um, just feel like the world is just all coming down around him and and you know this is just a world for you I mean there's really no love in this world I mean I just really just wanted to make this message uh, for the for the uh, for the, his young fans and all the young the young um, guys out there that's in the streets or that's thinking about being in the streets or part of the part of a gang or selling drugs selling dope or just that lifestyle in general that they believe so much that it's a real lifestyle um you know being a product of the environment i mean i grew up with takashi grew up i grew up in brooklyn new york um i've been around a lot of gangs gang members i've been around that crowd and um there's nothing new there's nothing different from that crowd then and now um, and no matter how much they say they love you, they love is not that type of real love, that godly love that you see in the scriptures. And if you're not a Christian, I just ask you just to hold on one second and just hear me out. Just hear this video. Because I know sometimes when some people hear God, they're like, oh, here we go. Hear me out. Let's be real for a second. Those of us that really been there. Like, you know, I'm, I'm much older. I've been, I've seen the 90s era in New York. I've seen um, the early 2000s era. I've seen that, the, the whole gang epidemic. And I'm going to tell you, man, it's all fake. It's not real like how they make it seem to be. The street life is not what people glorify it to be. I mean, most people that's in the streets want to get out of the streets. Most people that's in the ghettos, in the hood, wish they were never there, want to get out of there. They wish there was a way out. They knew a way out. Um, it's a lot of misery. It's a lot of pain, a lot of broken dreams, a lot of unfortunate situations, a lot of um, the poverty, the spirit of poverty breaks um, the ghetto's back. That's what keeps that. That's what keeps the ghetto or hood. That's what keeps it going. There's no glorify, no real glorification in the hood. It's just that it's a wild, wild jungle. Every man for themselves. Um, it's a, it's a basically, a, you know, I gotta eat type attitude, you know, and that's exactly uh, what we see um, in this quote unquote uh, hood, um, the world, and. It's basically what's mine is mine, what's yours is yours, survival of the fittest type attitude. And, um, you know, what happened to this young man is an unfortunate situation. I don't know too much about the dude, but here's one thing that I do know. Um, I remember one time he was really trending a, a lot, and I was wondering why he was trending so much. Um, and I don't listen to, um, you know, rap music, um, especially the, the new, the new, um, the new generation is to me I just don't feel it I, it's just my personal opinion I'm just I don't feel it I don't feel the soul I don't feel I just don't feel it you know so um, with this uh, uh, situation um, oh yeah so with this kid how he's been trending 
Um, so one day I, I, you know, watched a video of him and he was having an interview and he was talking about, you know, how so tough he was and so how he was so gangster and he was so thugged out and, you know, nobody, you know, he's basically saying nobody can, nobody test him, nobody can touch him. Everywhere he goes, he's like untouchable. He's the king of New York, and you know it's basically you know watching this as a as a you know much older dude. And I, you know I pray and I hope that he does see this video. This is nothing negative towards him. Um, and you know being somebody that that been there and grew up there, and it's like seeing this um somebody talk like this and act like this is. It, to me it's just sad you know because it's like you know we've been there like we've been there we we you know we we we've seen it like at least i could say i've seen it i've seen you know the the fake i seen the real and i seen the real thugs i seen and known real thugs real gangsters i seen and known the real real ones and you know those guys were you know like thoroughbreds, I mean, to the core, you know what I mean, and they didn't have to talk about it, and they didn't have, they didn't have to, um, make a, a announcement about it, um, people just could see them, and they, and people just knew, and you can just tell, and, you know, those guys usually, you know, for the most part, the story doesn't change, the narrative doesn't, don't change for anyone, they usually end up dead or in jail. That's usually how it ends. So when I see this young man acting the way he's acting, talking the way he's talking, um, as if he's doing something new, um, he's not reinventing anything. He's, it's like you're trying to reinvent the wheel or trying to do something new that hasn't been done before. Putting that type of energy out there and saying that, you know, nothing can happen to you, you know what I mean, in this world, in this system, like, man, it's just a sad situation, it's even sadder that his fans is going to continue to support him, bump his music, and I just hope they don't take that mentality, which I know a lot of them will, but this is just a message to the young generation, look, you're going to reap whatever you sow, whatever type of energy that you put out into the world, you're going to reciprocate and receive that same energy. So if you put out negative energy, you're going to receive that same energy back, you know, one way or the other. And that's just basically the law of God, which is the, the law of karma. You reap whatever you sow. Whatever you reap, I mean, whatever you sow, you shall reap. So if you sow negative energy, you're going to reap, receive that same negative feedback, that same negative energy. Now, if you sow good energy, you're going to reap good energy back from your environment, from people around you. And that's why, the, you know, that's why the Bible tells us to live good, live holy, be at peace with all men, um, love each other just as Christ loved us. Because only Christ knows the real love. I mean, these gang, the gang stuff, is, that's not real love, man. I, I've been around gang, gang members and gangsters. I mean, I mean, guys that have known each other from... 10 years old, grew up gang banging, did everything with each other, turn on each other, kill each other, shoot, shoot each other in the head for money, and now he thinking he, he got set up by his own people, and that's just what it is, man, I mean, there's no real, that's not real love, man, that's not real love, I'm sorry, and people think that the streets, or the streets got love for me, the streets ain't got no love for you, because the streets is all about survival, it's a survival game gain and if you got something for gain they're going to take it you know if somebody's hungry and you got it they're going to take it from you and it might cost you your, your life you might exchange your life with that chain you might exchange your life with that bracelet i mean come on guys i mean it makes it real i mean these like i said these record labels is 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 ugh, they feed in the youth so much destruction so much garbage so much negativity and the, the people of the world is blinding into believing what these what the record labels are doing you know what I mean they just straight up 
destroying. You know, this is the this is the devil's game. This is the devil's plan to destroy us. You know, he came to kill, steal, and destroy. And he's destroying the mind of the youth by infiltrating this garbage that he put out there in this music, social media, movies, indoctrinate and conditioning the mind of the young men and women out in the world, feeding them garbage, feeding them all types of lies, having them run around in circles when the truth is in front of us. The thing about when you read the word of God is very opposite until the you see the opposite of the world's mindset in the word. And that's the beautiful thing about the word. It's just the opposite. That's why when you when you start reading the author of the book, you start getting the author's mind, that Christ mindset to be Christ Christ like. But you know, a lot of people want to act like that's not real. This is real. This is more real than anything that you ever seen. Any movie, any amount of money, any thug in the street is nothing more realer than Christ. I'm telling you this. There's nothing more. I've, I've been around. I've seen. I've been. I've seen a lot of stuff. I've been around a lot of stuff, and I can give stories. And the narrative doesn't change from these guys that I've known. Guys that were drug dealers, kingpins, gangsters, big time. The narrative don't change. They all end up dead in jail, in a wheelchair, and don't change. You know what I mean? And the worst part is not having Christ when you die. That's that's even the worst. That's worse because the afterlife is just, it, it continues on. It doesn't stop, you know. I keep telling people, like, you know, there's a spirit inside of your body that lives forever. It cannot die because God cannot die. And if his spirit is is in us, if we're from his spirit, if if um, our likeness is of his spirit, meaning his spirit is in us, is from him, and it's, and it's of him, our spirit cannot die also. So our spirit lives forever, just like the angels. They'll live forever. And just like um, God, he lives forever. He does not die. The physical body died, but the spirit continues to live on. What's going to happen to these guys' spirit after it departs from the body? It's a whole other ball game. And, you know, man, I just, man, 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 we got to help save the youth. And one of these ways is talking against the evil music industry that's giving the youth millions of dollars in exchange for their soul and services in exchange just to go collect more souls and bring to the bring to destruction. They're just about getting their pockets fat for the love of money is the root of all evil. They're really about getting their pockets fat and they don't mind if a little bloodshed is shed here and there. A um, couple um, ones are sent to prison. They just don't mind. But like I said, I'm not going to try to make this long one to get that out there, man. 669, six, Takashi, if you get this message, bro, change your life. Turn to Christ. You ain't doing nothing new. It's all going to be dark path, going down a dark path from here on. I mean, there's no love in this world. There's no love in that rap game. There's no love in the streets. I'm sorry. It's all destruction. It's all darkness from there. Um, so that's all I wanted to say. Um, for those of you that's fighting a good fight, keep keep fighting it and keep your head up. God is watching. God always got something planned for all of those that love Him and just believe and just keep going and just keep pushing on. There's great things. There's good. There's good things when you do good. I mean, it might take a while. It might not seem like it sometimes, but there's a lot of good when you do good. Trust me and believe me. But Outside of that, there's nothing, man. There's really nothing in this world. There's nothing but destruction, hate, envy, greed, and just a bunch of people you can't trust. So just keep keep your eyes focused on the prize, y'all. Peace and many blessings.